I'm Kelly Sims. I'm an all the way an amateur musician and have been in the course for 40 years now. It's the oldest, most consistent thing in my life. Well, I'm Brian Shoemaker. I'm a tenor in Apollo. I'm in my fourth season here. I've really enjoyed four years in Apollo because it's um, the one non-professional group that I've performed in where I feel like the standards remain quite high. They're all wonderful to me, but the, I always love Mozart and then the Duraflay. And fortunately for me, I've sung the Duraflay before, so it makes it a lot easier for me. Yeah, I'm especially looking forward to the Duraflay Requiem for this concert. It's I've never done it before. I've only done one choral work of Duraflay ever. Um, I keep hearing his name, but hardly done any of his music, and I discovered why, because Stephen shared that he barely published any music. He had very high standards for himself, and apparently only published things that he uh, was okay with basically being perfect pieces of music, um, which this basically is. And of course, it's completely based on very familiar Gregorian chants. Uh, it's been really great to do those and hear them imagined in this beautiful, lush, impressionistic texture. And then I'm looking forward to hearing how it all comes to life on the organ. So the piece we just rehearsed to Agnes Day in the Vienna, that I don't remember rehearsing that before her, but it's amazing. That simple ending of that piece just blew me away. Depending on where we are and how everything is set up, sometimes it's hard for me to hear certain parts of an orchestra, and that's usually not the case with an organ. For one thing, the organ is behind you, so you're getting all the sound from that direction instead of in front of you, as you would with an orchestra. You know, all the instruments and the knobs and stops and swells and who diggies and whatever you call them. I don't know all the technical terms, but uh, I know that every organ that I've uh, sung with, and I've sung with a few, is completely different from every other one. People should come to our concert because there's not going to be another opportunity for a long time, I should think, to hear this rep, this massive organ and choral rep in this context with a group this size and this good uh, at such an awesome venue, Glenview Community Church, with an amazing, wonderful organ that sounds perfect in the space. The, the music is such, we perform at such a high standard, like Brian said before, you know, we're, we're this close to a professional group. Stephen is one of the best scholars of choral music that I have ever talked to, and he has more knowledge in his pinky finger than I gained in my entire four years at music school. So uh, he does pre-concert talks before all our concerts, and people should definitely come to this one because it will definitely enhance your experience. It's worth the extra 30 minutes of your time.